Baby love bugs is bouncing back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favorite and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome into my returning subs, my grown extended beautiful family. Just thank you just for the support. You know, all the transformations and the transitions we're going through right now is transforming us to where we beautifully need to be. So, you know, you take one day at a time, you know, really. When you can be able to step back and see the bigger, bigger picture, you'll understand why you had to go through what you had to go through. So with that being said, much love to all. Namaste. Love, blessings, love, and light. Many blessings are definitely coming your way. And if you have been watching my videos for a while and have not already, please like and subscribe. Hit that notification bell. If you are comfortable enough, please drop me a line or two. I love a chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me. Even if it's about the positive feedback of the content of my video, or you're just up telling me about your impact, the gift, and how it impacts your life and hitting you towards the positive direction. Also, um, if you are, you know, if you're getting good vibes or any good for information, you would love to share with a loved one, family, or friend, or even a fellow that is going through some really trying times and need confirmation and validation towards their life path or even their life purpose, please go ahead and share. And while you're at it, give it a thumbs up, like, and also share on your social media favorites wherever you see fit. And thank you once again for the love and support. It's so greatly appreciated. And I love y'all from the bottom of my heart. And I hope you're able to resonate with the content of my video. And today, um, I'm listening to this beautiful, I mean, it's making me really relax too. Um, this meditation is 528 hertz, uh, light music for the soul, for self-love, inner balance, and true harmony, healing, and tranquility. Um, and the video I'm doing today is uh, Twin Flame 101, God, uh, Hey Yoga's, God Changes Your Circle to Change Your Life. I seen a post that I posted up on Facebook the other day. Y'all see my, my cat Irma. She's just, just kind of, she can't even sit down, save her life. Sit, sit, child. But, um, uh-uh. Don't be getting on a blanket. I just watched it. Um, let me see. Y'all, I'm sorry. Uh, God Transform Your, uh, Circle to change your life. Yeah, I posted that the other day. I almost got lost on what I was saying since she can't stay still. Um, the other day, and that is so true. You know, uh, when you're heading towards bigger and better, or you're elevating yourself to where you truly need to be, if you don't get off of my blanket, me and you're going to have it out. Um, where you truly need to be, people you won't be resonating with anymore. You know, they'll have you looking at your past and seeing the people you used to be in, in your inner circle and you notice that you're not doing the same things that you're doing, you know, that you used to do. Um, you, you're seeing things in a different way. You know, some of them might not be uh, woke and you're wide awake. So they're not seeing things like you do. So it's just like when you're going through something, you know, try to understand. You know, even if it's somebody that you've been friends with for years, it's just like I see myself with a lot of people I used to hang out with. And I'm just like, wow, you know, not thinking I'm better than them or anything. I'm just like, we are not resonating like we used to. You know, when I was asleep, you know, that can be the most annoying thing when you actually see in the matrix for what it is. And you're starting to see people like, can you please wake up? Because <laughs> the things that I can tell you will blow your mind. But if they're asleep, they're not going to understand the daggone thing that you're talking about. They're going to probably think you're Lucy Lulu. So it's just like when you're going through all these things, you know, and you're in, you're in your awake state. You know, you can't vibe with the people that you used to vibe with. You know, there's a lot of people that are waking up left and right, left and right, left and right. You're seeing things for what they truly are. Um, and, you know, back and forth between the 4D and the 5D. Um, being able to not be in the materialistic things, you know, that's nice to always want to, you know, do things, take your little fancy trips, you know, have your little fancy cars, your little fancy house, but that's not what life is supposed to be about, you know, we're not supposed to be living just to be surviving, but it's just to do spiritual things, to be able to uplift yourself and uplift your surroundings, being able to see things for how they all connect and seeing things for what they truly are you know god will you know change your circle around it's good when you can actually vibe and have a decent conversation with somebody and they're looking at you like what what are, you, what are you talking about this doesn't make sense you know and it's good just like with my children the one that i used to bump heads with the most is the most spiritually enhanced child i got 
you know, my other ones, they were like, oh, mom, that freaks me out. That's so weird. I don't want to talk about that. And I'm like, okay, you still sleep. And my other daughter, she was like, mom, I want to talk about that. Just so weird. I was like, okay, you're still asleep too. But it took my other daughter, you know, and all of them been through stuff, but it took my daughter, my middle one to act just, you know, I call her mini me. And she's like, mom, I'm my own person. I'm my own self. I said, yeah, sure. Still my mini me. I don't care what you said, you know? And it's just like, she, I can be open with her. And she's like, mom, you know, why are these things happening to me? I said, are you in that low frequency? You know, are you going through some stuff right now? I said, you know, I'm not judging or whatever. She's like, yeah. I said, that's the reason why things are gravitating towards, you know, so many things. And now when she's starting to be grateful and seeing things or, you know, life is just happening to her, you know, at her and not to her, you know, um, she started seeing more beautiful things. And I'm so proud. I'm proud of all my kids, but it, it's just like, I'm very proud of her. You know, she's really, you know, that I knew there was going to be one. I was like, oh, I wish I can talk about this with my children because I want them to be able to know and being able to accept your empath, you know. And it's just why her, she's the only one I could do that with. But it's a good thing that when you're able to, you know, if you have children, you can be able to um, teach them these things, you know. But if they're not awake in that awakening state, it's going to be hard to do that because they're not going to understand what you're talking about. People around you are not going to understand what you're talking about. When you go through that spiritual awakening, like I, you know, I told y'all before, you're going through a spiritual awakening, you lose your job. You know, family around you get worried and think you're nuts. You know, you, you're going through all these different things. You can't work a normal job anymore. You can't. You know, when you when you see all the people in that 3D world, it is going to bump heads with you because they need you to gravitate towards something that you're feeling comfortable. Well, it's not seeming like it's a tedious job for you to have to do, you know, because a lot of people, it took me a while to understand, why did I have to lose my dad on job after I gone through the spiritual awakening? Why I had to do that? Because it's not, it's not fit for you anymore. You're not, you're not going to be able to do that when you know things and how they connect and what truly is what it is. Because I've had people that were in that awake state trying to tell me this. And I was like, huh, what are you talking about? It's all, you won't have to wait then. I can't even even discuss this with you. It's going to go over your head. And I, you know what? Now when I look at it, they weren't lying. They were not lying. But it's just like, now I'm finally doing stuff that I truly love to do. You know, as a lot of people tell me, Rosalyn, you're a great teacher. You know, you should be able to do this in psychiatry. I ain't, you know, I ain't finished school and doing all that stuff. No, I ain't like school like that. I'm not, hey, I'm not getting back at anybody who, you know, education is important. But it's just not for me. You know, um, I'm going through my stuff because these are things I experience. You know, when I see therapists, I call them mind rapists. <laughs> you know, because you, you you know, you, you violate me in a way. I call them mind rapists. But it's just the fact is I, I can, I'm very comfortable with, you know, having a conversation with somebody if they've been through that situation. If you talk about textbook stuff, I, uh -uh, I don't want to talk to you. I can't. And they're like, why you don't want to talk to somebody? Because if you have not physically went through this yourself and you tell me how it doesn't take you to fall back on something you know you don't need to be doing for it, you know, it's hard for them to actually tell me what to do if you've never been through that. Now, I'm like, I ain't got nothing to tell you. I don't got nothing to say because your textbook ain't going to tell me what is functioning in my mind. They might, you know, all, well, you know, 10% say that, uh, I don't want to hear all that. You give me somebody who been through the stuff I've been through and we could talk all day. You know, I'm more comfortable with that. You know, like I'm more comfortable with talking to people, you know, because there was times I would feel scared and insecure. Like, you know, if somebody comes to me, I want to be able to, you know, help them. But I tell people all the time, especially if you're new to my channel, hey, if you need to talk to me on a private time, because a lot of people are more comfortable with telling you about their situation on a one-on-one -on -one, and I love that I, I you know I tell my hey I'll send you links I'll send you different videos even if it's not my video I'll send you something to help me you know I love to be able to help people like that that is what I love to do that is my dream you know be able to expand all these different things you know going from one level to another so it's just like going through these things you know I had to go through my situation so I can be able to help other people because I you know that's what my dream was because before I went through my spiritual awakening I was like <laughs> I, I hate this job and I'm always like that it could be a good paying job and after two or three weeks I'm like you know what I don't like this daggone job even though it might be paying well but I'm tired of being around the folks I'm tired of being around you know and it, it's like that when you get to a job you're there just because you need the money you're trying to support your children you're trying to stay up above you know water 
when you got, you know, when you're looking at all these bills trying to rob Peter to pay Paul. But now it's just like God has blessed me to the point where, you know, even though I can't find a job out there, I've been trying to do that. But it's just like, you know, things happen the way they happen. And he's like, keep doing the videos. I know you ain't trying to find, you know, not trying to find a job, but you have been trying to find a job, but it's just not working out for you. Make more videos and see where that takes you. And I'm like, okay, you know, I listen to him take, okay, you can't find nothing. You're doing interviews, you you doing applications, things still ain't working. Do, do more videos and see where that takes you. I'm doing that and seeing where it takes me. But it's just like I feel blessed to be able to do the things that I do. Being able to go through a spiritual awakening and went from ground bottom to actually feeling like, you know what, there ain't nowhere else to go. After you hit rock bottom and everything is taken away from you, there ain't nowhere to go but up. When universe and God put you in that slingshot and you just keep getting pulled back, pulled back, pulled back. You know what a slingshot do. You get drawn back so far when you finally take off, you gone. You know, and it's, it's just good when you go through all these things. But God will, God and universe will change your circle to change your life. Don't question universe. Don't question God. I did that and I almost got the mess slapped out of me. Don't do that. <laughs> if they're doing this, they're doing this for a reason. You know, it's just like, you know, if I try to talk to people about the certain situation, they're like, what do you do on YouTube? And I said, like, I have other impasse that going through spiritual awakening, painful, you know, uh, traumatic situations to try to, you know, overcome these things. And they're like, oh, that's nice. And they're like, I said, you don't know what the heck I'm talking about. Because you're like, what's the impasse? Don't even ask because you ain't going to know. It's all right. <laughs> you know, it ain't for you. Then I say they, you ain't going to get interested in it because you don't know what I'm talking about. But being able to do what I do, I love it. I truly love it. You know, it has its downfalls, you know, when, you know, people second guess me or, you know, they come irritating, you know, when they try to act like you're stupid or something like that. Hey, it is what it is. But it's just the fact is I've learned a lot from these experiences. You know, I learned from my hard situations as well as the blessed ones because it's like I have so much positive. I get every once in a while I get a dud, but I get more positive feedback than I do negative and that's a blessing um when you it would be weird to me if I wouldn't get a negative you know a reaction out of somebody but that's fine because you learn off of that you know I'll you know I'll be upset about it for a you know quick hot second and then off to something else say what I gotta say and then it's you know it's there but everything has a balance to it because if you didn't have a negative impact, you really think something wrong, like, oh, heck no. You know, it's always calm before the storm. You have to think that way. But you have to understand life is life. You know, you got to be able to take the bitter with the sweet, the light with the dark, the evil with the good. You, you know, everything has to have a balance to it. But being able to go through it and grow through it, that's what's important. You know, um, if things are starting to come out your life you know when you go through your spiritual awakening you'll start losing friends you'll start losing family you'll start losing your inner circle people that you thought you were friends with from a long time ago became pure strangers i've had that happen i've had that happen and it's okay you know i even have some of the friends coming back and i'm like oh hell no <laughs> you can send something to me and i'm like oh thank you and still keep on going just because we're not friends anymore you didn't turn into an enemy but me and you ain't on the same level no because I remember what you did, you know, and I, I'm, I'm just going to keep that in my mind. I ain't going to keep throwing it in your face, but I know it's enough for me to not come back into that situation. But I hope you're able to, you know, resonate with the content of my video. Know that your universe is changing your circle for a reason. You know, you're going through life-changing experiences, and you are not going to be with the same people that you started out with. So know that. Prepare for it. Learn it. So, you know, drop me a line. <laughs> I hope you're able to resonate with it. No, everything takes time. You're on divine timing. You know, no, nothing's going to happen when you want it to. It's going to happen when it's supposed to. So remember that. But drop me a line. Like and subscribe. Hit that, that thumbs up button. So, you know, share. And uh, give me a line so I can go ahead and give you a shout out on my next video. Much love to you. Know that you are truly blessed, highly favored, and forever loved. And knowing there's always somebody out there praying for your day better days. I love y'all so much. And, you know, send out as much love and light and positivity as you possibly can. You never know your kind words can really take a person a long way. So I'll see you on my next video. Much love. Peace. Meanwhile.